Emitting an alert, Buddy Plant informs its owner the plant requires water. This intelligent flower pot helps monitor the growth and needs of the plant, making communication between humans and plants possible. This is consists of three different kinds of sensors. It is the humidity sensors, light intensity sensor, and also the temperature sensors. And when the sensor detects the environment of the plant, and then um, the user can get the information in three ways. First is was the uh, display monitors, it will change to different colors to uh, tell the user what the environment of the plant is changing. And the second way is the speakers. Uh, when um, the plant is lack of water, the speakers will speak and say, um, like, I'm so thirsty, please give me some water, something like that. And the third way is the uh, web page. The user can get the plant information in the phone through the internet. The overall winner in this year's joint school science exhibition, Tina's team hopes Buddy Plant can boost people's interest in growing plants. We have discovered that uh, most of my classmates have an um, emphasis on planting, but they don't know how to plant. Uh, maybe, or they have so many failure uh, experience. Uh, so we hope that this process um, not only narrow down the uh, distance between the human and the nature, and also can increase the interest of the planting. While some student inventors hope to bridge the gap between living things, some seek to create a barrier-free environment for visually impaired people. Unlike the usual cane and tactile paving aid, an eye for the blind is a tool which uses ultrasonic waves to detect obstacles in front of the user. It will accurately count this, uh, calculate the distance and uh, it will use sound to notify the user if the sound, the pitch of the sound is higher then it means the obstacle is more near to the user and um, if it is, the sound is, the sound pitch is lower that means um, the obstacle is more far away from the user. Their idea won them the first runner-up prize in the exhibition's proposal competition. But like all inventions, the tool still has limitations. It can only detect obstacles in front of the user and battery life is short, giving the students many difficulties to overcome throughout the production process. Uh, at first, we could only use the buzzer to notify the user, but if, use, uh, but if we use the buzzer, the, um, the nearby pedestrians, they will also hear the sound and it may disturb them. Therefore, um, we do some uh, information research and then we found that uh, if we add one more uh, shield, then uh, we can use the headphone to notify the user, which is more convenient and cause less dis disturbance to the uh, people around. Founded in 1968, Joint School Science Exhibition is the largest annual expo run by local secondary school students. 150 local secondary schools took part in the event this year, along with entries from India, the Philippines, South Korea and the U.S. Sponsored by the Innovation and Technology Commission, the 49th Joint School Science Exhibition had connection as this year's theme to promote creativity and scientific knowledge to help students enhance communication and improve our lives.